What's up geeks and welcome back to iGeeks blog and let's talk about iPhones. We all know that iPhones tend to hold up their value for years and because of which it doesn't matter if you have used your iPhone for one year or two years straight, you will get a good price. If you just want to sell it in huge market, you will get a very good price. But what exactly things you need to do before you sell your iPhone to a random person? Well, you all know that resetting is the right way, but how you should reset your iPhone so that that person you are gonna sell your iPhone to won't have any access to your data and in today's video let's see how you can factory reset your iPhone before resetting our iPhone, let's understand why it is important to do and that too in the right way. Many of us have a misconception that removing Apple ID will also remove our data. Well, it does, but only those files and folders which are synced to your iCloud. But those files who are saved offline on your iPhone won't get affected and that person you are going to sell your iPhone will have access to those files. Let's take an example. You have signed out from your iPhone, well, that will remove Remove all the passwords sync to your Apple ID but won't delete files and folders which you have downloaded offline in your iPhone. Hence resetting the iPhone the right way is the only option you have got to save and secure your data. So now that we know why it is important to remove each file and folder of yours from your iPhone before you sell it, let's start with the procedure. So first and foremost before resetting our iPhone we need to back up our data so that we can restore that data into our new iPhone. Of course, first we need to go into the settings. Now tap on your Apple ID and from here select iCloud. Now as you can see, we need to select iCloud backup and simply tap on backup now. So there is one more way you can use to back up your iPhone data to Mac or a PC. First you need to connect your iPhone to a Mac or a PC and now open Finder and select your iPhone and there you will get the option of backup now. Just click on it. So once you have backed up your data on iCloud or Mac or a PC, it's time to start resetting your iPhone. So first step is to sign out your Apple ID from the device you want to sell. And to do that, you need to go into the settings, tap on your Apple ID banner, scroll down and here you will get the option of sign out. Just tap on it. Input the password. And now it will ask you to keep a copy of your data on this iPhone. Make sure you toggle each and everything off over here and just tap on sign out and again sign out. It will take some time. So we have successfully signed out from our iPhone. Now next thing what you need to do is just go into the general. Scroll down and select transfer or reset iPhone and over here you will get to settings, reset and erase all content and settings. So now the confusion arrives, which is the right setting to clear each and everything from your iPhone. Either you choose reset all settings or you choose erase all content and settings. Well, it is simple and let me explain. Reset settings will refresh all the settings and features you tweaked or changed without deleting your offline data such as files and folders from your iPhone. As you can see here we have a lot of options reset all settings, network settings, keyboard dictionary, reset home screen layout, reset location and privacy. Choosing any options from these settings will only reset that particular category. It won't be affected on overall iOS system. So that won't be the app thing to do because we need to clean our iPhone as new before we sell it to someone and to do that we need to select erase all content and settings which will delete all your data and will bring back iPhone to its original state which means it will delete all the personal data offline personal data and will also delete each and every files and folder which is present on your iPhone so just tap on it continue and just tap on erase iPhone and that's how you delete each and everything from your iPhone. Now, the question arises, what if you don't know the password of your Apple ID or the passcode of your iPhone? Well, there is a method which you can use to delete each and every stuff from your iPhone as well. So first of all, you need to require to boot your device into DFU mode. If you don't know how to boot your device into DFU mode, I've made a dedicated video. Make sure you check it out. Out. Now, once you have booted up, make sure you connect it to a Mac or a PC. Allow all the on-screen prompts and select restore 
iPhone from this options. So now when you boot up your iPhone, it will ask you for a fresh start. That means you have successfully deleted each and everything from your iPhone and set it to default settings. Congratulations. And so now it's your time to congratulate us by just liking this video if it helped you of course and if you are facing any kind of problem do let me know in the comment section and while you are down there make sure you press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon so that you get notified on each and every time we upload a video so that we can just help you out right and on this note this is me Samir signing off and I will see you in the next one till then Tata see ya bye bye.